Hey guys, Aaron here. Today we're gonna to install this auto blip on my buddy Becker's 2007 Cayman S. This is what the device looks like. It is essentially an alternative to heel and towing your car. So it'll give you a little bit of uh, acceleration when you are uh, downshifting. So we've got the instruction manual printed out here, but I also have it here because it's a lot easier to see in color. And we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is figure out where we wanna install this thing in the car. All right, here is the track car we're putting this in. So a couple options are, it fits really nicely in here. It sits all the way back there flush. Uh, and then we can route the wire. We could even take this panel off and route it back down here under to where the pedals are. That's where we're gonna have to make all of these connections. Or I think what we're gonna do is just attach it right here with some good strong double-sided tape. That way we don't have to worry about this panel. The wiring can go straight down here and we can get access to the pedals down here. All right, so down here is where we're gonna find all of those connections. I'm gonna get some light down here and kind of show you, but uh, just to kind of see you go up and you're kind of looking up straight under the dashboard. So to make these connections, they do mention in the instructions that it is best to solder them. However, it is super hard down there. So they, they supply some T connectors for you and they say that that's going to work. So that's definitely what we're going to do. All right. So this is what our T connectors look like. Essentially, it's just a really easy way to splice one wire into another existing wire. All right. Since he doesn't have an airbag, it was easy to knock out four bolts and pull the seat out so that we can get access down here a lot easier. So here we can see our clutch pedal. This uh, white thing is the bottom switch. The red one is the top switch that they keep talking about. And uh, under the accelerator pedal is the wiring right back here. There's one Phillips right here that we're gonna remove slide this cover off to get a little better access. All right, there you go. Pops off, slides up. So now you can kind of turn it to the side and get some. I can get better access to the wires. Okay, for the clutch, you have two different options of where you're going to get the signal from. So you can see that if you, uh, you can either get it from the bottom switch, which is their figure 4A, or you can get it from the top switch, which is figure 4B. And there's the signal for that. So the only information they give you at all is that they mention if you get the connection from the top switch, it allows for earlier blip trigger. And it says that you might want to do this if you are wanting a faster reaction time of the RPM blip. And that if you do this, you're gonna use the delay adjustment to provide sufficient delay so that it will disengage before the blip happens. So do you want faster uh, reaction time? I have no idea because we've never had it, so we don't know. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the bottom switch uh, because it seems like the one we have to not adjust the delay for. And then if we somehow figure out that we want faster, it's easy enough to just uh, take it, the connection off of the top one or take it off of the bottom one and move it up to the top one. But no matter which one of those you choose, you're gonna get the ground connection from the bottom switch, and you're gonna get the 12 volt from the top switch. All right, so now that we have the brake pedal off and we can get to these wires, it kind of shows you where it connects to the accelerator pedal, sorry, accelerator pedal. Uh, and so they're labeled one through six this way. Six is the purple or violet one. So we want to make a connection on that one. Four is the yellow and green wire. We're going to make a connection to that one as well. All right, so here are the connections at the top of the pedal. I'm just sliding this nasty old sticky electrical tape up. So you can see our uh, violet one there on the far right is indeed in number six. And then two over from it is our yellow and green. 
which is number four. So we're gonna put one of these T connectors on those two wires. All right, so you just close it on the wire, pinch it really hard until it snaps all the way shut. And then what's gonna happen is this is the auto blip harness. So we're gonna take one of these things and slide it into the end of this thing after we close it on there. So you just stick it right in there and you have an electrical connection. All right, so now I'm just gonna try to get the fourth wire, yellow and green. All right, there we go. We gotta tap on that one. Okay. Oh, and you're definitely gonna want like a, a knee pad or something to kneel on while you're doing this. So the next one we're gonna do is the brake pedal. Okay, so here's the brake pedal. You follow it all the way up, and right there is our uh, brake wires. So you can see that we have one that is black with a yellow stripe. All right, we uh, got that other one on there. <sighs> to get to that one, I had to lay on my back and get under this thing. So yeah, if the seat was not out, I could not have really gotten to that one very easily. All right, so it should look like that now. All right, for the bottom clutch pedal switch now, uh, this is where we're gonna get our signal from. We decided on the bottom, so we're gonna get the yellow and purple wire. And while we're down there, we're gonna put one on the ground connection. So we need the brown wire coming from here, and then the other wire coming from down there. All right, I got those on, and then out of the top, all right, then out of the top switch, we are just going to get our 12 volt right here. So that one is, uh, I don't know what color that is. Let's see. 12 volt is black and orange. Okay. I guess that's black. And, oh yeah, I can see it's black and orange up there. All right, from our clutch pedal, you come up and uh, you can see all three of our connections right here. This is our 12 volt, this is our ground, and this is our clutch signal. And if we wanna to change to use the signal for the top one, it is literally this wire right next to it, the black and yellow one. So we can just uh, move it from here to here. And we'll be getting the signal from the top clutch. All right, so the last step is uh, taking the wiring harness that is attached to our auto blipper and hooking up those six connections. So we're gonna grab the paperwork and see which color maps to what. All right, so the uh, tip of the wiring harness has the yellow and black, and yellow goes to our clutch switch, whichever one you chose, and black is the ground that is on the uh, bottom clutch switch. So we're just gonna connect these guys right up here. So we have our brown ground wire going to our black uh, harness, and then we have the clutch switch going to the yellow on the harness. All right, then we have blue and white. Blue goes to our brake switch, and white is our 12 volt. So white is the uh, third connection up here that's not connected yet. So white will go here, and then uh, the blue is gonna go over to the brake pedal. All right, then red and green are left over, and green goes to the purple and red goes to that yellow and green one. So everything is now wired up. So uh, we can calibrate it now and we'll just have to use some zip ties to uh, hold this stuff out of the way and make sure it doesn't interfere with the pedals once we're done. All right, so down here, I was able to use the two provided zip ties uh, attached together to make one long zip tie and uh, just kind of folded the wire here and the harness that's going over here. It's all bunched up right here, uh, attached to, to this plastic um, vent down here for your AC that blows on your feet. I think that's gonna keep all of them out of the way. So yeah, it looks uh, really clean. You can't even see anything from over here. Um, the wire that continued on accelerator pedal to the wiring harness. Uh, I got running behind the uh, fabric here and uh, right now we're just setting it here temporarily but you can stuff it back there, uh, zip tie it even some more. 
when it's in its final place, we'll, like I said, double side tape it to right here. They also note in their directions that you can optionally get ground and the 12 volt from your OBD2 port with pins 4 and 16, but it's so easy to get it from the other places. I have no idea why you would ever do that. All right, now it's very important to calibrate the unit, so we're going to follow all of these instructions and do that now. All right, first step of calibration, turn your ignition on, but don't start it, and the status LED should light up. If it doesn't, you have to verify that your 12 volt uh, connection is good, and it says ignore all of the other lights at this point. We have status. All right. We did one thing correctly. All right, next it says to set the duration and delay adjusting dials until they are completely counterclockwise. So turn them all, all the way to negative. Then to enter calibration mode, press and hold down the on off button for about 10 seconds until the status light blinks. calibration mode now. Now fully press and hold down the accelerator pedal while holding the accelerator pedal wide open. Press and release the on off button once and continue to hold the accelerator pedal down. So this step records your vehicle's full open throttle position. Press it once? Yep, press it once while well, it's all the way down. All right, looks like it did something. At this point, the status LED will blink two times, followed by a short pause. Completely release the accelerator pedal. With the accelerator pedal completely released, press and release the on-off button once. This records your vehicle's closed throttle position. It should blink three times, followed by a short pause. Then completely press the brake pedal. With the brake pedal completely pressed, press and release the on-off button once. Continue to hold the brake pedal down. This records your brake pedal pressed position. It should blink four times, followed by a short pause. Now completely release the brake pedal, and with it released, press the on-off button once. This records your brake pedal release position. It should blink five times, followed by a short pause. Now completely press the clutch pedal. With the clutch pedal pressed, press and release the on-off button once. You're starting to get the idea now. Continue to hold the clutch pedal down. This records the clutch pedal pressed. So six blinks, and then you completely release the clutch pedal, and then press the on-off button once, and this step records your vehicle's clutch pedal release position. This completes calibration. Bam, it says, note, when properly calibrated, the brake and clutch LEDs will turn on when the corresponding pedal is pressed. Are you pressing them both right now? Oh, brake, clutch. Interesting. So they, uh, no, they're all on. <laughs> they don't <all> off. <laughs> it seems to be the opposite, but maybe that's because we haven't started it. It says calibration values remain in memory even if there's a break in the power supply. The auto blip features a diagnostic function that will warn the user when the calibration routine fails to properly recognize these things. Blah, blah, blah. When a failure is detected, auto blip will continuously blink the brake, clutch, and or blip LEDs signaling a failure during calibration of the respective signals. Press and release the on-off button once to restart the calibration sequence from the beginning, if that happens. So, it should be calibrated. All right, ignition back on. Okay, so I guess they turn off when the pedal is pressed. I thought they it should do it the other way, other way around. around. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so we're gonna try to recalibrate this because it seems to be backwards. So you hold the power button for 10 seconds. That's what we did the first time to get into calibration mode. All right, there it goes. So we started by pressing the accelerator pedal, right? Mm -hmm. You fully press the accelerator pedal and then you press the on-off button once. 
and you continue to hold the pedal until it blinks twice. Mm -hmm. Then you can let go and press it again. It blinks three times. Then you go to the brake pedal, press it once. After four, you release it, press it again. Now wait till it blinks five times. Then I go to the clutch, press the clutch in, press the button. Wait till it blinks. Release it, press it again. Aha! That's what it should be doing. Mm -hmm. So now press the brake. Yes. Yes. Okay. Success. So that was weird. So uh, if that happens to you, just calibrate it again. Hopefully things go well. All right. Let's test it out.